you've been smoking a corn cob pipe for a while but you're new to pipe smoking and you're considering upgrading getting a little bit more classy and getting your first briar pipe you've been to smokingpipes.com or pipesandcigars.com a cup of joes for that matter and you're overwhelmed and you're confused because well, gosh there's so many shapes at so many different price points and so many different brands that you're not sure what you should pick for your first briar pipe. This video series is going to be three video, three, three videos to help you in that area. Tonight we're going to cover shapes. Okay, so um, tonight, as I said, we're going to be talking about shapes. And I'm going to give you a couple of examples of uh, some pipes I think you should uh, consider or actually maybe even consider avoiding. Okay, um, but first, uh, let's talk about shape. The very most important thing that I want you to take out of this is for your first briar pipe, I think you should buy a straight pipe. Okay, why is that? As a new pipe smoker, one of the things that you will fight hardest against will be the fact that you're probably going to smoke a little bit faster than you need to, or you might pack your pipe a little bit tighter than you need to. And it just takes time to learn how to do both packing the pipe and your proper cadence. It just takes a little bit of time. And in the meantime, you're going to be producing excess moisture in the pipe bowl because of either packing it too tightly or because of your pipe cadence or not properly drying the tobacco. All things that take time for you to learn. Um, and is very helpful in the middle of that so that you can continue to enjoy the smoke to cure the problem because you don't want your pipe to gurgle. It becomes an unpleasant experience every now and then as it's gurgling you'll have to pull a little bit harder on the pipe and you'll wind up with uh, some uh, very warm tobacco juice in your mouth and it won't be a pleasant experience the quickest way to remedy that is to take one of your pipe cleaners and to be able to run it all the way into the bottom of the bowl um, and straight pipes have a higher probability of you being able to do that. There's a chance that you could order a pipe from one of these online retailers, although if you can go into a brick and mortar uh, pipe sh shop and actually inspect a pipe, it's even better. But uh, if, you're, if you're looking to order online, uh, straight pipes by and large will be drilled straight all the way from the mouthpiece all the way to the end of the bowl and it should be very easy for you to pass a, uh, a pipe cleaner into uh, into the bottom of the bowl and remove the moisture okay so that'd be the first thing that I would tell you that you should consider uh, is buy a straight pipe second that what I tell you is let's deal with some dimensions and many of the websites and especially smokingpipes.com they have a pipe locator where you can put some of these dimensions in and it'll bring up every pipe that fits this but one of the things that I think you want is a versatile pipe. Because if you're a new pipe smoker, you're going to want to try out lots of different tobaccos. And so you're going to want a pipe that will smoke well in, or will, or will smoke several different types of tobacco well. And so to me, there are things, as we talked about a straight pipe, but that really lends itself to this, the billiard shape bowl is one of the best for being very versatile um, smoking pipe because it it really can accommodate if you want to smoke English blends if you want to smoke aromatics or if you want to smoke um, just straight Virginia blends a billiard shaped bowl and it man because of its dimensions um, tends to do a fairly good job uh, of being versatile and being able to, to deal with with all those different types of tobacco in a, in a fair way. 
Uh, but you certainly could buy a Bulldog or a Rhodesian or an Apple or uh, a Dublin, a Canadian, a Luberman. There are tons of, of shapes out there that you could buy and would kind of fit some of these parameters. What, uh, what I look for uh, in that shape, there are two things really, is it's kind of the chamber depth, you know, how deep that, that pipe is, and then the, the width of the opening or the chamber diameter. And so I think if you find a pipe that's about one and a half inches deep or about 38 millimeters deep for my European friends, and about three quarters of an inch in diameter, or 19 mils for my uh, European friends, I find that you're you're gonna get a smoke that's a, that, or you're gonna find a pipe that is very versatile. It won't um, create too much airflow, so that you you might smoke it a little hot. Okay, so that's what I suggest you look for. Look for a straight billiard or a straight pipe that kind of fits that one and a half inches deep to point to three quarters of an inch in diameter. Now, let me show you a pipe I think you might want to avoid for your first type of pipe. Something that you want to avoid for your first pipe, in my opinion, is some, sh some lovely shapes. This is a Savinelli Prince, okay? But the reason I say you want to avoid a, a shape like that not as because of the bend, but because of how short the bowl is. It's not a very deep bowl, but it's very wide and open. And I just smoked that and I need to clean it out. But um, it, it's a pipe that because it's short and kind of fat in diameter, it gets a lot of airflow on the tobacco. You're more likely to um, smoke it a little bit hotter and uh, either develop tongue bite or just not uh, enjoy uh, the tobacco itself. So I think if you stick with a straight pipe that kind of fits those dimensions and preferably to me a straight billiard because the billiard shape is just absolutely classic and um, is a very versatile pipe, I think that will do you good. So my first advice for you on shapes, buy a straight pipe one and a half inches to three quarters in diameter. Make it a billiard or something else if you prefer. But those are the way, that's the route I would recommend you go. In my next video, we'll talk about price. Y'all have a good night.